Ever since leaving Ambitious Entertainment, EMT has had a rather rough time in the industry as scandals have been following him almost everywhere he goes. Although the rapper left the record label because he wanted to spread his wings by growing his own record label called EMT Records and for reasons he claimed were loyalty belt, he has previously alluded to claims that his former employers are out to get him. Could this recent scandal also be a similar case? The roll-up hitmaker seems to be believing so, although he did not mention any names. It has emerged that the rapper is currently battling FFS Finance SA after it was revealed in court documents that he owes a hefty amount of money for his car. City Press reports that the Manando hitmaker bought his double cab Ford Ranger in February 2018 for 476,590 rands. However, in just three months, he had already defaulted on the payment. Court papers filed in the Johannesburg High Court revealed that the agreement was for him to pay 900,417 rand for 72 months, but he has missed close to 20 installments since buying the car. As a result, the rapper now owes his creditors 194,378 rands in arrears. The cash price for the goods and other charges for which the defendant will be liable to the plaintiff amount 476,590 rounds. The defendant did not comply with these obligations in terms of the agreement, more specifically in that the defendant failed to effect payment to the plaintiff in monthly installments due in terms of the agreement as and when the same became payable or to owe, the document reads, showing his signature on the contract for the car on February 19, 2018. City Press also reports that EMT was sent a letter of demand dated December 10, 2020. The notice was sent by the plaintiff to legal dispatch to be delivered at the address of the defendant. In addition, the financial services company he made the agreement with is looking to cancel the contract and he have the car repossessed. To the best of the plaintiff's knowledge, there are no pending processes before the National Consumer Tribunal, nor has the defendant referred the credit agreement to a debt counselor, alternative dispute, resolution agent, consumer court, or obnub with jurisdiction with the intent to resolve and dispute under the agre agreements. When the publication contacted the ATM rapper for a comment, he outright rubbished and court case claims or that he was about to lose his car. If anything, the rapper believes that someone is out to get him once again. He told the publication that he is sick of all these scandals because they are tarnishing his name. The rapper said that all he is focused on doing is making music and providing for his family. Who sent you? I just want to know the person who told you all this.